All right, guys. This is the one with the RVs and the carports on um, Edwin Smith Lane, 210 Edwin Smith Lane. You can see it comes off the road right here. There's a lot of overgrowth. That could all just be, you know, cut down. Um, definitely relatively flat out here. You can see a little bit of a slope there. Some of these bushy, the bushes go into maybe a little bit of a dell in this area. Um, but, you know, property lines and whatnot are probably pretty well defined here. You can kind of see the tree line here goes into the woods a bit. And then back behind here, you get to the river. Uh, but you saw from the floodplain map that it doesn't, you know, come onto the property here. That's core property behind us. This uh, shed thing, I'm not quite sure what it is. Looks like there's some water lines coming tapped out of the ground here. And um, one of them does seem to be going into the back of it. I don't know if it's just like a shower. See the water lines here. And there, but they're now hooked up at the moment. So I'm thinking that could be some kind of bathroom or shower. But you really don't know, I'd have to ask. And then you do have the Jayco with the bump outs here. It's the Eagle by Jayco under a carport. Looks like a television aerial there. I do have a cell phone reception. Wasn't a problem the whole way up here. So uh, this side, it looks like a little bit of an older rockwood with the one side of a bump out. Let's take a look. So you see these carports are tied down. Trying to see if there's you know, some kind of water line. These are hooked up too. There's the hose coming out the back. That's just hooked up to water source. And then yeah, there's your your clean out essentially. So septic systems and whatnot. I'll take you inside these as well, but I just kind of want to show you around the land a little bit. Looks like you do have some cameras up here. I'm sure these were like Airbnbs for somebody. Little, uh, you know, vacation rentals or something. There's your power pole. That's where the lockbox was. You do have some overhead lights here. A couple more carports. Power run to them. However, kind of haphazardly, just kind of hanging down there. Um, but you know, mosquito thingy and a fan. Just really storage area. And you got the little shed right here, little fire pit. And back behind here is just a little bit of grassy area. Going into the woods and then back to all that overgrowth again. So. I'll take you kind of to the tree line to kind of see. Can't really see much, can't see the river or anything like that, at least uh, in the summertime. But, see more of a clear area here. You can see here, hard to see on the camera, but looks like there's some trails, walking trails and that back there. Um, let me see if I can kind of zoom in on that for you. See right in that area. Runs left to right. Um, this does start sloping down then and probably after about 30 feet it looks like. Because um, obviously you know the river's that way. Into the core. Alright, let me see. Let's get you in these bad boys. These do go with the property so this is part of the sale. Geese. There we go. Oh, it's a double lock. Am I doing this wrong? There we go. Hello? All right. I'm just going to step on up.
All right, it's a little dark in here. I don't know where the light switches are, or how that all works, but I'll just leave it the way it is. Nice little place. Good amount of space with the bump outs, appliances, it's propane, microwave, fridge. I'm sure you've seen one of these before. It's probably pretty similar to yours. Got the flat screen TV, a gas fireplace. It's just storage and whatnot. And then it's your bedroom back here. Couple of windows beside it. One of them is shaded off, or just not in the direct sunlight. Flat screen TV again, and then there's an entrance here from the bedroom, but also from the hallway to a full shower, glass pull door kind of thing. So, yeah, it's nice. I can find out what year these are and all that kind of stuff, but Let me close this all back up again. All right, so that's the Eagle by Jayco. And then I would have to call, just kind of find out if there is Wi-Fi, I mean like cable internet and whatnot. Um, but like I said, I have, let me turn this camera around. I'll find out exactly. Sorry. No, that's not it. I'll have to just figure it out afterwards, but I didn't have any issue. I was watching YouTube the whole way up here. So, um, let's see if we can get you in this one. It is 90 something degrees today. Okay. This one is a little bit older. Flat screens of a bygone era. Era. A little bit smaller, obviously. It only has the bump out on the one side. But that's your bath or your bedroom here. Here's the bump out. With the couches and table built in. Has a little bit of, you know, 1990s feel to it. Maybe early 2000s. Fridge is open. Not sure if that's supposed to be. Oh, it's closed now. Um, bathroom in the back. So, it's kind of a shower with a little skylight. Sort of deal. Dealio. But yeah, this one had the steps pulled out for me. That is essentially what we're looking at out here. any sort of information you may need about these rockwood signature ultralight i don't know if that means something or that's your some sort of safety label but again i can always just ask what the year is on these things and this one let's see if i can find that same kind of stuff Climate Shield, Tough Shell, 338 RETS. This is all just gobbledygook to me. It looks like it's got little speakers on the outside. That's kind of cool. Again, power so source. And then your clean out that obviously must go to a septic or something. Docking station. Here's some of the. You can always pause the video, but some more kind of detailed information. I'll upload this high definition. You'll be able to read it. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any questions about this one. Thanks. Bye.